Good afternoon, family and friends. How are you doing? Welcome to the Work Nation. It's a nice day out here today. And I hope you're also having a nice day wherever you are. We didn't pray for it. We didn't beg for it. It's natural. And we are not paying for it. Because it's ours freely. I want to start this uh, today the series of uh, of teaching or speaking. I don't like using that like teaching unless I teach those who don't know. But when it comes to the woke nation, we are sharing. So I want to be sharing with us the the series of what I titled the Lost Prayer. The Lost Prayer. Prayer is a form of begging. Prayer is for slaves. Prayer is for beggars. Prayer is not for the sons. They use the Bible, Quran, and the Torah to train us how to pray. They taught us even position of prayers. Some say you kneel down. Some say you stand up, some say you fall on the on the ground, all that. But you, who taught you how to pray, how to ask your father, your real father, your real mother? Who asked you how to ask your real parents something? Nobody. Who taught you the position you, you should be to ask something from your parents? Nobody, because they are your parents. They cared about you. Even they forced support, some level of support on you. Like when you didn't ask, they say, oh no, oh you are, you are little, so you don't know what you need. So maybe some of, sometimes they brought two things and say, which one do you want? You know, because they care about you. Not making you go on your knees, crawling. It's, it's religion that taught us that, like in Roman Catholic Church, you see people, they give them penance, you know, for whatever they say they committed, they go through pain and some people walking on their knees, you know, for God to have mercy or to forgive their sin, all that. People go on praying and fasting for forgiveness of their sins or for what they need. But the truth is this, no one has achieved anything through prayer except lying, except extortion. Nobody has done and nobody can do anything through prayer unless to deceive people, unless to rob people. Prayer, you cannot get a job by praying. You cannot increase your money by praying. You cannot get money by praying. You cannot secure a job like after you get it by praying. No. Nobody has hired you because you prayed. No. You have to be qualified. If you, don't, if you are not qualified, they are not hiring you, no matter how. So prayer is a form of slaves begging their slave master. That's why it is called what? The Lord's Prayer. When you hear the Lord, you are talking about the owner, the slave owner. The Lord, anywhere you read about the Lord, even in the court of the law, you, are, you have to be slave for you to have the Lord, your honor my lord all that because because you have reduced yourself to slave you have to accept to be slave to have nothing for you to depend on someone else to provide it for you so religion is what they what taught us into slave what our religious parents used to turn us into slaves slaves that don't, that don't have their own say slaves that cannot do anything for themselves waiting for the lord to come and save them waiting for the lord to come and do them i mean do something for them 
They designed religion of Christianity, Islam and Judaism to keep slaves good slaves, especially Christianity like people from my side. When you go to those who are Muslims, you see how evil Islam has done to them. When you go to those who are Jews, you see how evil uh, Judaism has done for them. Religion is the foundation of our problem. That problem that seen unsolvable is because of religion. The reason why we have bad leaders ruling over us and doing whatever they want and going free, uh, free, uh, uh, free without anybody touching them is because of uh, religion. Until you understand what religion has done to you, you will never solve your problem. You will always blame people. You will always blame the wrong person. You always, you know, think somebody is responsible for your condition. You have to understand religion is why you cannot revolt. Especially you Christians. Religion is why you are forgiving somebody. Somebody that have done wrong. Instead of that person facing justice, you say you forgive. You are supporting evil with forgiveness. When you forgive, you support evil. You didn't solve any problem. That person didn't learn anything. That person will do worse tomorrow because you forgive the person. The person didn't pay anything. The person didn't go through anything. I forgive you. And it's because they lied to us through religion that gave us the book, the weapon of mass deception. They deceived us to love our enemies. They deceive us to hate our loved ones. They deceive us to pray for those who persecute us. They deceive us to always beg. Our Lord's prayer, they say one day, disciples of Jesus, grown men, grown men, came to Jesus and said, teach us to pray, stupid. <laughs> it's like me asking somebody to teach me how to eat. Teach me how to eat. At my age, you don't need anyone to teach you how to eat. Even as a child, you don't need anyone to teach you how to eat. If anyone is teaching you how to eat, that person is teaching you how not to eat well. Naturally, we all know how to eat. That's why we have our hands. We put it in our mouth and we chew it. He said the grown men came to Jesus. Jesus that never existed and those men never existed. Uh, let me say this. Everything you are reading in the Bible is what they have done to us, evil they have done to us, and evil they are doing to us, or the evil they will do to us. When you read in all those prophecies about uh, Armageddon, war, and uh, that's, they already predicted what will happen. Uh, the day black people will wake up. The day black people will rise up. Before they give up, black people must face war armageddon they will come to eliminate black people but the powers black people will possess them we give them the victory it is not this the slave master cannot give us the victory when they tell you in first corinthians 15 he said uh, thanks be to god who gives us the victory <laughs> through jesus christ victory you cannot have victory through jesus christ you always have delusion hallucination slavery evil through jesus christ you can never have any good thing through jesus christ never you can never have victory they won't even allow you to fight how can the lord jesus give you victory when they tell you do not revenge do not resist an evil person jesus said you should not resist evil person and you are waiting for jesus to give you the victory over evil person he said don't resist them let them have the free course. Let them do whatever they want. Forgive them. If you don't forgive them here, you will not be forgiven somewhere that does not exist. Say, so if you don't forgive them, your Father in heaven will not forgive you. <laughs> I hate religion, man, with all my heart. It doesn't matter who is angry. I hate religion. No matter how they put it, no matter how they say about it, you can get upset all you want. You can, you know, speak for that useless God all you want, but I hate religion. Not just hate religion, I hate it with all my heart.
religion is evil. I hate evil. And if you are religious, you are an evil person, I resist you also. I resist you with factual truth. Then if you come against me physically, I come against you physically. Whatever you think, I don't practice forgiveness. I practice fairness, justice, equity. That's what I practice. I'm not religious, I'm not spiritual. I am human. I do to you what I expect you to do to me, and you should do to me what I expect you to do to me. If you if you plan evil against me, I plan evil against you. Jesus said to them in the Bible, that's the slave master said to the slaves, after this manner pray, this is how you pray. Somebody teaching you how to pray, the manner you pray. You know, when, when, when we came to uh, born again, nonsense you know oh like when i attended bible school they didn't teach they don't used to teach prayers before they don't teach prayers in bible school i went to word uh, word of faith bible institute that's the uh, uh, the one month uh, bible program that's bible school they don't when wolf i went uh, august um, to august August 1993, that's the year Abiola, Abiola was killed when uh, they have Osa Abiola in Nigeria. I was in Kaduna then when Osa Abiola happened. When Oyedebo prophesied there would be war in Nigeria using Matthew 24, it never happened. No war. <laughs> no war happened. <laughs> Oyedebo prophesied it, even using the Bible to support it. It never happened. Because Bible is a book of lies. That's why they use the Bible to continue telling you lies because every page of the Bible is full of lies. There's no truth, no single truth in the Bible. No. Jesus said to them, after this manner, pray. What is the first word? Our Father which art in heaven. Our Father which we have not seen but is in heaven. <laughs> These people are wicked. He said, our Father, which art in heaven, have you seen the one you are calling your Father? You say, no, my Father is living abroad. You know, I, he was not here. He pregnanted my mother and traveled abroad. Now I am born. I am a grown man. You know, I am praising my Father. Can you see your Father? No. Can your Father call you on the phone? No. Can your father do a video chat with you? No. In this time and age, you cannot communicate with your father face to face. You cannot see your father. Can you travel to where your father is? He said, no, until you die. That your father is dead. That your father does not exist. Do you get what I just said? It's a series, and I'm dealing today on our father. Who did they teach us is our father in heaven? Our father in heaven that we cannot see. You say that father is almighty. Fuck that father. I don't have such father that I cannot see. I know my father. I see my father. My father is not dead. If I can't see my father anywhere, that means my father is dead. If I have to go to heaven, if I have to die to see my father, that means that, that's when they say, I will, I, will send you, I will send you to your ancestors. It means you will die. A child that must die to see his father don't have a father. He don't know his father. His father does not exist. His father is dead. Our father which art in heaven. Which father? Which heaven? Have you, have you seen anyone, any of your relations that we are so dedicated to that God that died and came back and tell you about that heaven. No. It is the, still the same animation you faith created in your head. You read in the book. That's what you know as heaven. That's what you believe as heaven. But you haven't been there. No one has been there. Even the ones they claim that have been there in your Bible, they forbid them from speaking because that God is wicked. A God that created you in his own image and likeness and forbid you from knowing what he knows. That God is wicked. That God 
is not your father. That God does not love you. Somebody that loves you tells you the whole truth. Somebody that loves you wants you to know what he knows. Anyone that is holding knowledge from you, holding truth from you, does not love you. When you say God loves you, how can you prove that? A God that killed children, drowned the whole people, even unborn children, drowned everyone. And you say that God loves me. You say that God is my father. Eh? That God is your father. That God is your father, not my father. You that believe in that God, that's your father. That's not my father. I have my father. And I talk with my father. I can speak with my father. I can pick up my phone now, video chat with my father. Speak. How can your father in this time and age not able to communicate with you? You say your father is in heaven. Okay, no problem. Can't you communicate with your father? Your father that is in heaven, you cannot communicate with your father that is in heaven. You are stupid for saying that person is your father. And you say that this your father is almighty, all powerful. He can do all things. That's what you claim. Your father can do all things except calling you to speak with you, his child. What type of father is that? What type of tell me the type of father that don't talk with his children face to face? He doesn't talk to you. You say, Oh, he talked to me in the dream. He talks to me through things. He does not exist. If your God talks to you through things, that means those things are the God you are talking about. If your God exists, he don't supposed to be talking to you through things, especially when you say he's almighty. And you say it's a spirit. So why is he limited? Why can't you have God limited? He says it's unlimited, but he's limited. Our father, who is our father? No, but that God no, don't even have name. What is the name of your father in heaven? Tell me. No name. Unless the one you make up. Some call him nonsense. Some, some even call him shit now. When you say you are God, you say you are God is Your God is uh, uh, Elohim. What is Elohim? But when you read the Bible, they gave to you the book, they gave to you the Torah, the Quran. You say, I am the Lord. That is my name. How can the Lord be your name? The Lord means owner, slave owner. Slave owner is not my father. When you say our father, which is in heaven, you are talking about the slave master. You are not talking about any God that exists anywhere. And you don't know what you are saying. Your parents, your religious parents indoctrinated you and brainwashed you to believe you have a God in heaven. You have a father in heaven. A father that don't care to show up in your defense. See how you are suffering and you still saying you have a God. How about the coronavirus? Where is your father? You say your father is using somebody. Why can't your father use you to cure coronavirus? You don't care because your father don't care. If you care, if you really care about those people suffering and dying, in China or anywhere, in any disease, virus, or whatever. You would have gone and cured them in the name of your God, in the name of your Father, in the name of whatever you claim to believe that exists, higher power. Uh, that thing you say that is in you, there is God in you. Which God in you? What is God doing in you? Nonsense. God is in you and you are learning from people. God is in you, you are going to school. There's no God in you. It's hallucination in you. It's delusion in you. That's what is in you. Not any God. You, you have to wake up and stop fooling yourself in the name of God, in the name of Jesus, in the name of religion. We have no father in heaven. Our fathers are here on earth. If and if they if they are dead, they are also here. They are they were buried here. 
none of them went to heaven none of our ancestors are in heaven they are here on earth and we have one blood with them you telling me about our father which art in heaven which our father is in heaven when he's not here to help us see how we are suffering you wake up to go to work when you don't supposed to go to work when you don't want to go to work because your father in heaven is useless in reality if he cares he will provide for you then you stop working under any man or any woman for any reason he will provide for you since you believe he created the heaven and earth why are you still arguing about god when you can see your problem that god cannot solve it he cannot do anything it is time you wake up and stop living like a fool as an idiot who believe he has a father in heaven no you have father here there's no our father in heaven anywhere it does not exist we exist it is time you wake up and begin to use your brain peace